Just like this uh, kaapuni we doing. Amalahoy. The law of the splinter paddle which allows us freedom to the roadways. Today the attorneys we call that pedestrian rights. No, pedestrian rights is totally different than the mamalahoy. That the government has the fiduciary duty to protect the people on the roadsides during warfare. And I look at it exactly as what it is, warfare. Dodging cars. Yeah, we're going to the roads again. And hopefully that we can kind of get people interested into buying into this old, old traditional um, idea. Yeah, to reapply this old traditional idea back into our lives again. Yeah, so we can make sure that we the ones gonna make the decisions on what needs to happen in our area. And the more people we get involved, the more people that we can get assertive in being a spokesman for the Aina, because the Aina no can speak. Our waters no can speak. We gotta get our people to rise up to lock arms and say I'm here to speak for the Aina and the Kai and I'm here to support these families because they live through enough of the turmoil the lies the abuse so this one good opportunity that we can we can walk around the island we can meet new people we can meet old people. My interest is the old and the new. Yeah? Because the new people that come here and feel that Hawaii is, is uh, you know, aloha kekai kekai, aloha aina, malama aina. They feel this, then <coughs> what is important for me is that they understand and that the stories are in the people that live here. And people gotta see that. They gotta see the exchange of traditions that other people felt that, oh, Hawaii is no longer Hawaii. There is nobody here already. They all, they're all genocided. They all have an identification card. They all get government checks, yeah the tradition, the culture, the indigenous mentality of Hawaiians is no longer there. I am here to prove everybody wrong. Our tradition and customs, our protocol, our resource, our vahipana, our story places are still intact. We just been kind of a little bit quiet because we can no longer, uh, you know, well, let's just say, we no longer want to be a part of the greater decision based upon the Mo'olelola stories of the, our place. Why is this place so abundant? Because people have other alternatives. So that's why a lot of our, a lot of our kupuna no longer like step up and share any stories because they don't trust nobody. Just that alone changes people. But we just got to find the time to walk. Make the time. Yeah, or make the time to walk. 